Welcome to PLZ Soccer, this is your morning news bulletin. Lewis Ferguson was Aberdeen's hero for the second week in a row as he scored a late free kick to complete Aberdeen's 2-1 comeback against Kilmarnock yesterday. Killy dominated the game at Rugby Park and took the lead through Chris Boyd, but substitute Bruce Anderson levelled for the Dons before the 87th minute winner from Ferguson. Aberdeen manager McInnes praised his match winner, adding it won't be long until he is in the national team's setup. The win takes Aberdeen up to 7th, but with three wins in a week, they are now just three points off Kilmarnock and Rangers in third place. Hibernian eased past Motherwell 8-0 in yesterday's Women's Scottish Cup final, making it three consecutive cup wins in a row. The game at Firhill was never much of a contest, and Hibs winger Jamie Lee Napier notched her first senior hat-trick. An ex-referee has called for people who throw coins at football games to be jailed. Hugh Dallas, who was infamously struck by a coin at an old firm game in 1999, said that jail time is the only way to stop it happening, after Alfredo Morelos was hit by a missile in his side's 2-0 win away to St Mirren on Saturday. This is the third incident of this nature this season, after an official's head was cut open by a coin and Neil Lennon was struck earlier last week. St Mirren goalkeeper Craig Sampson has accused Daniel Candace of being disrespectful by blowing kisses before his red card on Saturday. Rangers boss Stephen Gerrard said the decision to send Candace off was an embarrassment. And a man has been charged in connection with an alleged assault on Hearts goalkeeper Zdenek Zlamal during last Wednesday's Edinburgh derby. A quick look over Monday morning's papers. The record go for Candace lacks class. The Sun have odds on Eduard saying Celtic are ready and the Daily Mail's headline is Dark Times over an increasing crowd violence. Stay with us on PLZ Soccer as I'll bring you the latest Scottish, English and world football news throughout the day before Barry Ferguson joins Peter and Ruffy on the football show at 6.